Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, you will learn an interesting question, interesting concept in which there is a square and there is a circle which touches all the sides of a square. We have to find out the radius of this circle. There is a small rectangle at the corner of the square and the sides of rectangles are 10 and 20. Now let's try to find out the radius. Let's see how we can solve this question. Join these lines. Both the lines are radius of the circle, right? Now this is a rectangle. Extend its line up to R. If this rectangle is of 10 by 20, the opposite sides are equal. So this is 10 and 20. And this is also 10 by the same logic because this also becomes a rectangle. This also becomes a rectangle. This is 20. Why this is a rectangle? Because this is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. So this side comes out to be R minus 20. The whole line is radius. From here to here it is radius and this is 20. The whole line is R and this is 10. So this is R minus 10 from this to this. And this is also R minus 10. This is right angle triangle. In right angle triangle we can apply Pythagoras triplet. H is Pythagoras theorem. H is square is equal to P square plus B square. H is R. Perpendicular is R minus 10. Base is R minus 20. R square minus 2 tens are 20 R. 10 square is 100. R square 20 twos are 40 R. 20 square is 400. Cancel out R square. So we are getting R square 20 and 40 is 60 R. 100 and 400 is 500. This is a quadratic equation. To solve the quadratic equation, take two numbers whose multiplication or product will be 500 and whose addition or sum will be 60. And such two numbers are 50 and 10. Take R common from this, R minus 50. Take 10 common from this, R minus 50. Take R minus 50 common, and you are getting R minus 10. So if I take R minus 50 is equals to 0, the value of R will be 50. R minus 10 is equals to 0, the value of R will be 10. So R is either 50 or 10, but R is at least, R is more than 20 because this line is 20 and this is more than 20. So the value of R will be definitely 50. And from the diagram, you can check that if R is 50, so this line is 50, this radius is 50. This will be 40 and this will be 30. And 30, 40, 50 makes Pythagoras triplet. Let's see one more example. We have to find out the radius. The rectangle now is 2 and 9. Do the same procedure. Join this two. Extend this line. So this is line 9. This is 2. This is r minus 2. This is also r minus 2. This is r minus 9. And this is r. Applying Pythagoras triplet. H square is equal to P square plus B square. H is r. Perpendicular is r minus 2. Base is r minus 9. R square is equal to R square minus 2 to the 4R plus 2 square is 4. R square 9 to the 18. 9 9 is 81. R square cancel out. R square. 18 and 4 is 22 R. 81 and 4 is 85. And the factors of 85 are 17 and 5. And solving this equation, we'll get R is 17, R is 5. But R is 5 not possible. R is more than 9. And therefore, the value of radius is 17. You can check here also. This is 17. 17 minus 2 is 15. 17 minus 9 is 8. So remember, if you can think of some Pythagorean triplet, you can give the answer directly also. Let's see one more example and then wind up this video. Now the rectangle is 1 and 8. Do the same procedure. This line will be 8, this line will be 1, this will be r minus 1, this will be r minus 8, and this is r. So we have r square is equal to r minus 1 square and r minus 8 square. Can you find out a number r such that 1 less than r, 8 less than r, and r 
becomes Pythagorean triplet. Otherwise, we'll solve this equation. Yes, we can think. 13, 1 less than 13 is 12. 8 less than 13 is 5. And 5, 12, and 13 are Pythagoras triplet. So the radius will be 13. This will be 12. And this will be 5. So we can solve this directly without actually solving the quadratic equation. Hope oh, friends, this video helped you. Like our videos, subscribe to our channel.